Hey everybody, I'm back with another weekly chat. How have you guys been doing this past week? I've actually had a pretty good week. Nothing too exciting other than the Sephora sale happened. I mean, that may not, may not be exciting for a lot of you, but it was for me. Um, so I'll get into that in a minute. So get ready, this is probably going to be an all frivolous chats day. I don't think I have anything too, too serious, but we shall see. And I don't have a lot of stuff on my notes today as well either, but you know me, I can ramble. So I think this actually happened last week, but I completely forgot to mention it. And that, or it may have happened, okay, it was on, I think it was March the 29th, whenever that was. Um, I was on eBay, been selling on eBay for one year. Yay! <laughs> it has been an exciting year. I have had a lot of successes, I think. I still don't know, um, I'm still like a, an, a, no, a, a novice when it comes to selling on eBay. There's so many tips and tricks and different things that you can do that I have no idea what they are. But I'm basically, if anybody's curious, just selling stuff out of my own personal closet. I have a lot of stuff. And I have a lot of stuff that either um, doesn't fit me anymore, that I look at and I'm like, you know what, That I just don't like that anymore. Or it's not, uh, or you know, you look at it, it's like, I like that when I bought it, but I just don't care for that anymore. Or um, just, you know, it's like, it just, I'm not using it. So there's, um, I think, uh, like three different things in my, when I choose to let something go is either it doesn't fit, I look at it going, I really don't like that, and sometimes I wonder why I bought it. Or um, maybe something that, yeah, I still like it, but I never use it. So if it meets any one of those kind of criteria or check boxes, I am like, let it go. And I will tell you, for somebody, I don't like to say I was a hoarder of items, but I mean, um, not a hoarder in the sense of I'm going to go on that TV show hoarders, nothing like that at all, nothing even remotely like that. But I uh, would buy a lot of stuff and um, just never use a lot of stuff. I would use it and then stop using it and then keep it for years and years and years and then it's like okay get rid of it now um, so I've had a lot of successes I would say I still have a lot of stuff to sell I've sold a lot of items I want to say I've sold this year so far 35 or 36 items since January 1 I've been trying to keep better track of it this year so anywho it's been going really really well I do seem to be plagued I think with people that just will not pay I have had um, this year alone I want to say three people yeah I want to say three people who have not paid for items just this year alone and then last year I had several so I've had anywhere I want to say six or seven people in the past year of selling on eBay that have just not not paid for the items so of course I don't ship them until they pay but um, okay so this happened uh, earlier in the week I there's a small park that I go to in Nashville I don't think it's a well-known park it's very small and um, it just basically has a teeny tiny playground if you want to take small children but it has a relatively large walking area um, it's, I don't know how many laps makes a mile. I'm thinking it, probably one lap or two laps, maybe a mile. It may be four. I don't know. I haven't worn a pedometer out there or an, I don't have a Fitbit. So, um, but it has a really extremely flat walking area and trying to find a flat walking area in Tennessee, the entire state is almost impossible. We are, if you've never been to Tennessee, we are extremely hilly. <laughs> it's, there's always a hill somewhere. So if you are not good at walking hills, this is not the place for you to go walking. Um, we have mountains in the East Tennessee. It does get flatter the more west you go, but it's still a very hilly state um, constantly. So to find an area that is completely flat is a rare thing. So I went over to this park and there were a few people out there, literally, I think it has maybe five or six parking places, and that is it, maybe four. 
So a few people were out there and it's in a neighborhood. So if you live in there, you just walk over to the park. There's no need to drive your car. And um, there were, you know, like a lady was walking her dog. Some kids were playing on the playground. Well, as I'm walking, I noticed this very, I'm going to say it, creepy looking man just staring at everybody. If you walked in his path, um, so he's standing by his car, leaning against the car, and he would like literally stare you down. So as uh, you're walking, he would be like this, just following you and would not stop looking until another person crossed his path. And he would stare at the kids on the playground, anybody walking. It was so creepy. And another weird thing that he would do Every, I would say, now I didn't always have my eye on him because, like I said, it's a huge walking, it's a small park, but a huge walking area. In that, um, when I was like at the other end of it, I really couldn't see him, but every time I saw him, he was, he would either get in his car or get out of his car. So that happened, I was there maybe an hour, and it was either in his car or out of his car. And when he was out of his car, he was staring at people. So, so creepy. He wasn't, from what I could see, he was doing nothing illegal. So I didn't feel like it was something that I should call the police about. But, I mean, he gave me the creeps. And so I was like, I would not, if I had been at that park and no one else was out there except for him, I would not have stayed. It was that creepy. So that, I mean, every it's a city park. Everybody has a right to be there in the city. But, and if you want to look at people, it's not illegal to stare at people, but it's also, you feel like, I just don't want to be creeped out. So, it gets frustrating when, because yes, it is open to everybody, but also, I want to feel comfortable there. And, um, again, if, you know, as long as people are there, if he's staring at people and not hurting, not talking to anybody, not hurting anybody, it's like big deal. But if I, if I ever went over there and it was just him, I would leave because it was just too uncomfortable. So that happened. But I will say this, um, I'm more of a treadmill walker. That's how I get most of my exercise done. But I have found in the past... I want to say six months, maybe four or five months, I'm not sure the exact amount of time, that if it's a nice day outside and the weather is decent, you know, like high 60s, 70s, I, I even like warmer weather, but if, you know, if it's in the 70s, not too cool, but not too like boiling hot, walking outside is one of the most stress relieving things that I do or I can do. I don't, you know, different people find different ways of relieving stress and anxiety but that is like my number one thing that I can do so that's why I love it when the weather is beautiful outside now I will tell you I'm allergic to nature so it doesn't do my allergies any good oh my goodness when oh I forgot to mention this after I left the park I was there about an hour um, I noticed that this area of my arm just started itching and I was just scratching 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 well I looked down at it and I had a rash or a um, some hives or something. They I went I, I came home and just sprayed some Benadryl spray on them and they went away. But um, I'm allergic to trees, grass, uh, pollen. Um, I can't remember what else now. Dust, dust mites. And there was a guy mowing out there that day, so that happened. But um, walking outside in nice weather is the number one stress reliever for me. So I thought I would share that with you guys here okay let's talk about the sephora sale for a minute you may be sick and tired of hearing about this on youtube everybody starts talking about the sephora vib vib rouge sales sorry my neighbor's dog is like about to walk up to my front porch he's distracting me he can climb his fence and get out they don't let him out he just climbs over the fence but uh sorry for that little commercial right there um, but um, so many Sephora sale, uh, Sephora sale videos are going up right now, and I don't have, I've got some things to show you, but not from that sale yet. So um, I placed an order at 4 a.m. Thursday morning, and I noticed stuff was already selling out um, that early. So I think a lot of people must have stayed up to midnight and just started placing orders. So stuff was already started selling out. One of my favorite items, I didn't order it, but I noticed um, the Shiseido Ultimune um, 
uh, it's like a serum. It was sold out yesterday. At least uh, two different sizes of it were. They may have it back in stock. I didn't purchase any of that, and I'll show you something about that in a minute, why I didn't purchase it. So, with all that being said, my orders are supposed to be here on Monday. And I usually do not film videos on Monday unless it's a cooking video. That's about the only video I film on Monday. So I probably will not film that haul until Saturday, a week from today. And then that Sephora sale, VIB sale uh, haul will go up sometime the next week. So you got another week to wait, but I think that's okay. You may be sick and tired of all these videos. So mine pushing mine back will give you a little bit of a break maybe <laughs> I don't know I watched one lady's video and I am completely clueless how she made this happen because this is the second video that she has made that I have personally seen where Sephora sale will happen she makes a video the day the sale starts and gets it uploaded before my Sephora stores even open I am so confused so um, she's in Canada and the video went up sometime around 9 a.m. ish, somewhere around in there, central time. And most of the Sephora's that I know of, regardless of what time zone you're in, they open at 10 a.m. whatever time zone you're in. And I was like, how in the world? So it was 9 central time. She had already had her video uploaded. And I'm thinking, how did she get to the store, film the haul, edit the video and get it uploaded by 9 central time. She may be somewhere on the East Coast, but I still have no idea how it happened. The only thing I can think of is that some of the Sephora stores will let VIB Rouge members come the day before and have a day early of purchasing. Um, that's the only thing I can figure, but I was like, how in the world is she doing this? And this is the second time I've seen her do that, but anywho, so that haul will be filmed next Saturday if all goes according to plan and will come later. Um, the handbag that I've teased you a little bit is also supposed to arrive on Monday. And I'm going to just be real with you guys here. There is no way I'm going to be able to wait to open that handbag and do an official unboxing. Again, I don't film usually videos on Monday. Um, for several different reasons. I like to really relax on Monday and um, I Let's just be honest here. I don't necessarily look camera ready on Monday <laughs> a little more grungy look Okay, is going on and I like to be presentable in my videos. It's just something that I prefer and also typically any deliveries that come to my house that are delivered to my house are in late afternoon, sometimes as late as 7.30 p.m. at night. <laughs> and it's just like, I don't film videos that late either. So if for some reason the handbag is delivered earlier in the day, I will get camera ready and film the unboxing, but I doubt if that's going to happen. It generally do doesn't. And I know I'm not gonna be able to wait to look at the handbag, I just can't. I will not be able to wait for a week to film this video next Saturday. So as a compromise, I have decided that I will take photographs of me unboxing the video and then next Saturday I will film a reveal video and just insert those photos in the video. So I thought that would be a compromise because I am just not gonna be able to wait and because it's being delivered on Monday. I wish it would have been delivered yesterday. I could have waited, um, you know, one day, but Anyway, so that's going to happen. So I am very excited about that. Um, let me look. I think that's almost it. I've got two more things. So I got this in the mail right here. I'm not sure how much that's coming in. This says Meet Steve Madden. It says Saturday, April the 9th, Nordstrom, the mall at Green Hills from 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. It says BP Shoes on 2. So 2 is the second floor. I'm not sure what BP Shoes actually means. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember hearing that term in, 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 term before. But it says receive a complimentary tea, tote, and photo with Steve just for coming. Plus receive a free gift with any Steve Madden purchase. And it says while supplies last one per customer. One per customer. So 
I'm thinking about going to this this afternoon. It's at 3, 3 o'clock this afternoon. I um, love going to the mall, but here's the thing. I feel somewhat hypocritical about it because I don't own any Steve Madden products. I have like literally just gone through my mind since I got this card. I'm like, do I have any Steve Madden products? And I have literally come up with nothing. So I don't own any of his products. I have no intention of buying any of his products. No, no, I have no problem with Steve Madden. I don't know a lot about him. I have seen the shoes. I know he does handbags as well. Um, but I just, you know, just I have no plans to buy any Steve Madden stuff and I don't own anything. So that's why I kind of feel hypocritical, but they're giving free stuff away and I like to say if it's free, it's for me. I love free stuff. And also, since it is actually pretty cold outside today, I wanted to have some adventures and do a vlog for you guys, but it was 43 degrees when I checked about a half an hour ago. It's going to get a little bit warmer than that, but not much. That is why I'm wearing a sweatshirt. I did get hot as I was setting up to film it, so I pushed the sleeves up, but it had, it is cold outside today, and I just don't want to go outside and have an adventure today because I'm cold, and I don't like it. I like warm weather. So I thought I could go vlog that over there and do a little bit of a vlog for you guys. I am not 100% sure. I'm more like 50% one where it could go one way or the other if I'm going to go or not to Nordstrom to meet Steve Madden. But I may end up doing it. I just uh, don't know yet. So the last few things I wanted to show you, I got them in my lap, were um, Ulta also had a uh, sale going on. It was a 20% off sale. So I thought, oh, this is great. Sephora's is 15%. Ulta's is 20%. So I was like, 20 is better than 15. So I was like, whatever I'm going to get at Sephora, if they sell it at Ulta, I will just get it and do, um, you know, so I can save more money. Well, I started looking on Ulta site. So I was looking, you know, I had a list of everything I was going to get from Sephora and I started looking on Ulta. I found one thing that they had in common that I was like, that I was planning on getting. They have a lot of things in common. I'm not saying they don't, but of what I was planning on getting, there was one thing. So I saw a couple of other items that I'm going to show you that, that isn't sold at Sephora that I was wanting to try. And then I had this other thing in my cart. Um, so I put everything in my cart. And I noticed that it didn't seem to equal 20% discount. So I started looking really closely that one item that they had in common that I was going to buy, Ulta would not sell it to me, would not let me have the 20% off on that. So I took that out of the cart. I'm like, well, you know, if you're not going to let me have it, I'm not going to get it for 20 for just the full price. So I ended up getting a couple of things uh, from Ulta. And I'm one of those people, I decided to kind of, don't put them back in the boxes because it just gets ridiculous for me. But here are the boxes and then here are the products right here. So these are the Clarence Paris um, Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. It says it enhances and nourishes. I got 01 and 02 and here they are right here. I'm trying to put it where you can see the front of them. Um, the colors, I would say, are extremely deceiving. Um, they go on completely clear. I did a swatch on my hand. I'll even do a swatch on my hand. That's why I wanted to save these for last. Um, to show you because um, I, was, I think it's just the scent. This one was Raspberry 02 is Raspberry. 01 is Honey. I think it's just more for the scent. So um, here they are. They have a pretty big applicator. So I'll do a little swatch on my hand. Now my camera does not autofocus. I'm not sure. I'm looking in the viewfinder, but that is complete. I'm looking at it right now, completely clear. So really, if you thought you were going to get this for this pigment color, you ain't getting nothing. Okay. It's just a scent in my opinion. I've been using these since Friday. They came in late Thursday. Okay. Late Thursday. They came in late Thursday night. So I did try them and I have to tell you so far, I love these products a lot. They are very good. I will tell you this, super, super, super sticky. So if you don't like stickiness, you are going to hate these. Um, you're going to hate them. I love them. Um, I love the applicator for the most part. There is one issue that's a, a pretty big negative to me. When you pull it out, it drips. 
and I've already dripped this stuff on several things. I think it may have ended up on some of my clothing. I know it ended up on the table because I was like sitting down putting it on and I was like, oh my goodness, it dripped down. So the applicators drip as soon as you pull them out. So that is a, um, a negative issue. But so far I am loving those products. One more thing to show you, or actually the same thing, but several of them. In the Sephora haul that went up this past week, the skincare haul, I forgot to show you something. And this is an item that I, I said has just recently sold out during the Sephora VIB sale, but I didn't purchase it because I got several of these little ones. This is the Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. I love this stuff. I have been saving my Sephora points for several months. I've got several of these things. So um, I had been saving my points up and when I went into the Sephora store to um, purchase some skincare stuff for the last haul, I, they, these were one, the 100 point uh, perks that you could get. And I said, can I get however many points I got that I'm allowed to get, can I get them all in this one product? And she said, oh, absolutely. You can't do that online, I've noticed. They won't let you do that online, but you can do it in the store. So I said, um, give me as many of these things as you can for however many points I got. So she did. And this is the reason I didn't purchase this thing during the Sephora VIB sale because I have several of these little things now and that I got, I guess you could say free with points. Yes, I spent money to get the points, but these ended up being free. So I was very appreciative of that. So I am going to end this chat here. I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful week. Again, I should have different hauls coming up, unboxings for you, um, a Sephora haul coming up, and I'm going to be doing a clothing haul probably in the next two to three weeks, not really sure right now. I have not done a clothing haul since the end of January, so probably by the time the clothing haul goes up, it'll be like three months since I've done one, and I think that's the longest I've ever gone. Um, you know, I just realized I wanted to talk about something else, but this video is super long, so yeah, I think I want to go ahead and talk about it. If you want to quit watching, quit watching. That's okay. These are just my rambly chat videos and um, that I do every week. And I'm, I'm trying to get better when I do another specific video that I get to the point. Whereas with these videos, I can just ramble and chat to you guys as much as I want. And if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. Um, but I also don't want to irritate you if I'm doing an unboxing or a haul. I don't want to irritate you with the rambliness, even though I know I do. So, um, anyway, this is another thing that was on my mind, and um, I'm trying. I'm hoping I can get this out and make some sense of my thoughts. They're clear up here, but for me to get them out to you guys, I'm not sure how clear it's going to be. But I, I started thinking about this really heavily yesterday, and the reason being, sorry, I feel like I got a hair right there. Um, Yesterday, I'm trying to think who I saw at first. Uh, she's a British YouTuber. A YouTuber. Her name. She either goes by Sam or Samantha. I cannot remember. I'm so bad with names. I can't remember her channel's names. But sometimes she has really curly hair, and sometimes it's straight. Um, she does a lot of fashion videos. She's got either like either one million or two million subscribers. But Sam or Samantha, uh, a lot of fashion stuff. So. She did a handbag reveal yesterday, or well, I don't know when she filmed it. I watched it yesterday. Uh, it's a new Gucci handbag called the, um, oh shoot, it starts with a D, and people can't seem to figure out how to pronounce it. Dionysus, I think that may have been how some people were pronouncing it. And she did this uh, handbag reveal, and I'm like, ooh, I really like that handbag. I'm not a big Gucci fan. Um, of a lot of the handbags that I have seen, specifically on YouTube, I am not a personal fan of a lot of Gucci's handbags. Just not my thing. Nothing wrong with them. Just not my thing. There are uh, a few of if the leather ones that I like, but the, the canvas ones, not a huge fan. But when Samantha, or Sam, I'm not sure what to call her, um, revealed this handbag, I was like, ooh, I really like that one. It did have the canvas print on it with the Gucci logos, but it wasn't, I just really liked it. Well, 
So that was Friday morning. So sometime yesterday afternoon, maybe later, I saw either an Instagram or a Snapchat, a Snapchat of Victoria from In The Fro. She had bought the same handbag, but it was in a different uh, print on the outside, but literally the same handbag. May have been a different size, but it was the Gucci Dionysus handbag. And then I was like, ooh, I like hers even better. Then it was somebody else's Snapchat. Another girl had the same handbag. Then I get up this morning, and uh, I think her name is Mel Soldana. She's a Canadian YouTuber, very big into handbags. I like watching her handbag videos. She just um, recently bought the same handbag, and I'm going, what is going on? And um, even somebody in one of Victoria, I think it was an Instagram comment on Victoria's Instagram page said, um, what is going on? I'm paraphrasing it because I don't remember exactly what they said, but basically this person accused Victoria of actually not paying for the bag that it was given to her. And the person was like, I don't care how you got it. Um, I like to see the handbag, just, but just I really feel that because so many different people are um, coming out or buying this, buying the same handbag all at the same time that the companies are actually giving them to you instead of you buying them. And it really got me thinking. I'm like, I started thinking, I said, could that be true? But then I got to thinking, you know what? I, I don't know any of these people personally, but I've been watching their videos for a while. And I would say, at least with Victoria, she seems to be upfront with when somebody gives her something. She said, this was sent to me or this was a purchase I made myself. So I really don't think it was given to her. She said she bought the handbag at a duty free at the airport. So, um, but you know, it, it made me think um, on another note, not about either buying stuff or they're lying, but what I want to get to is this, um, things like this where all of a sudden everybody starts showing something creates an obsession and that's what started going on and on in my mind is uh, this obsession is that social media creates obsessions for items and because it did it with this handbag I have never even seen this handbag before yesterday and all of a sudden I'm now obsessed with this Gucci handbag do I plan on running out and getting it right now absolutely not I will tell you I feel like I am shopped out for the moment Yes, I can't believe I'm saying that. I have no desire to go shopping right now. None whatsoever. No online shopping, no mall shopping, and that's why I was kind of like on the fence about going out to Nordstrom's to meet uh, Nordstrom to meet um, Steve Madden because it's like I really don't want to go out there right now because I I'm just like done. I'm tired of it. Yes, that is very odd for me to say, <laughs> but I'm like I'm done for now. So, um, but. I'm, I've got this Gucci handbag in the back of my mind. I'm like, you know, I really like that. But when it's an expensive item for me, it like marinates in my mind or my brain. is like, it's something that I really think about. I, if it's something like, oh, I really like that. I'll think and think about it. If I can, if they sell it where I can go, I mean, like if it's a place where I can go actually personally look at it, get my hands on it, I will do that. Really think hard about it and then start saving up for it. So I have no idea if I will ever buy that Gucci bag or not, but it is in my mind right now, but it literally starts creating an obsession and other things, no matter what somebody shows you on YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, Snapchat, Twitter, it's just like, if you keep seeing it from so many different sources, it's like, oh, you start becoming obsessed with it. At least I do. I don't know that everybody feels that way. And it may not necessarily be handbags. It could be something completely else for you. It could be um, shoes. It could be um, a trip. It could be clothing. It could be makeup. It could be skincare. I have no idea. Whatever it is that you like, if that is what you kind of stalk on social media, when it just when your brain just starts getting um, hit with it from so many different sources, you can't stop. I mean, it. you will start thinking about it a lot. And I wanted to point out that before you just run out and start making purchases, and I'm speaking, when I talk, I'm speaking to myself first. I may not always say that, but it's like, I'm always addressing myself first and then sharing my thoughts with you. But regardless of whatever the item is that you are becoming obsessed with, um, 
really, really, really think about it and say, is this something that I really want or is this something that I have just seen others have and now I kind of want it? Make sure this is truly you are buying it for you because this is something that you will use, that you will love, that you want. Now, whether it's a need or not, that's debatable. Um, but make sure that whatever this item is, it is something that you really and truly want and love and will use. And that, that on that same note with um, all the Sephora videos going up, regardless if you are into skincare, makeup, hair care, whatever it is, when you go watch these videos, all of a sudden you start seeing different things. But, um, but it seems like the same people will have the same things. You know, different things might pop up, but if it's just a new release of something, people get obsessed with that item, make sure it's something that is for you, especially with skincare, because I'm 39 years old. Um, I don't know the different ages of people that watch my video, but if you are, say, 10 years younger, five years younger, uh, 15, 20, whatever your age is, um, if you are a lot younger than I am, you and I probably do not have the same skincare needs. So if I'm talking about a skincare item, and you're thinking, oh, Carrie likes that, I'm gonna go get it. Make sure that it suits your needs. Right now, I am buying stuff for wrinkles, anti-wrinkle stuff. If you're 20 years old, you're probably not going to need to buy that product. So just make sure that regardless of who you're watching on YouTube, or whatever items they're showing you, that this is really and truly an item that you can need and suit, uh, you, can, um, you will use, love, want, and that it does suit your needs, especially if it's a skincare, <coughs> excuse me, talk so much, I need something to drink. But um, it just got me thinking about that really um, heavily um, between yesterday um, and, um, you know, just you're just inundated with so many things from social media and it'll get in your mind. It, I know it does in mine and I, I really want to think that regardless of what the item is, think about how it will work for you before you go out and make the purchase. So that is my little bit of advice, a lot of rambling for you guys this week. I will talk to you later. This was going to be originally a five minute video in my mind. Never gonna happen, is it? Mm-mm, mm-mm, not at all. So I'm gonna talk to you guys later. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful week this week. Have a great Sunday. Um, love all you guys. Thank all, I wanna thank all of my new subbies out there so, so much. Thank you guys for subscribing. I love hearing from you in the comments. Um, so, bye for now, everybody. Talk to you later.